What's good guys, I'm Dave and in this video I'm going to give you some tips on equipment to help you start your YouTube channel on a budget or even for free. Now before you start making videos, I'm going to tell you what every YouTube creator says, making videos is a marathon, not a sprint. Because so many people start the marathon and stop before becoming monetized, it's a good idea to be smart about how you're spending your money to make sure that you're going to stick with it. So before you get out there and spend thousands before even publishing your first video, I'm going to give you some tips on how you can get started for nothing or close to it. First, let's talk cameras. There's a very good chance that you're watching this video right now on the thing that you should use to shoot your first video, your phone. You may also be watching this on the toilet right now, and if you are, I hope it's going well in there. I can almost guarantee you that your cell phone can shoot in 1080p, if not 4K, which would be more than enough for your first video. Even if you have big, big plans for your channel, the vast majority of people don't need to drop $500 or more on a professional camera when you're just getting started. I'm literally shooting this video on my iPhone right now, and for what I'm doing, which is just sitting and talking, which is what a lot of YouTubers do, it's totally fine, and it will remain fine for a long time. Best of all, you already have a phone, so that eliminates one of the most expensive parts of starting your channel, total costs zero. Next, let's talk about lighting. While lighting does make a really big difference in your videos, there are a lot of other ways to make your videos look bright without investing in really expensive studio lighting. When I started making videos, I had two floor lamps that I bought at Goodwill, and I put them behind the camera, and I pointed them directly at my face. Today, I still use those lamps, but I put some powerful floodlight bulbs in them that make them a little bit brighter. Since I already had the bulbs, and I already had the lamps, the cost of lighting for me was zero, and it probably can be for you too. If you're like most people who don't live in total darkness, you probably have a lamp or a different kind of light in your house. And even if your lamps have specific spots where they live in your house, there's nothing stopping you from moving it while you're shooting the video and moving it back when you're done. So again, zero dollars. If you're enjoying this video so far, please give it a thumbs up to help more people who are thinking of making videos find it on YouTube. Another big thing that people worry about spending money on is video editing software or even a new computer to edit videos. Just like you can use your phone to shoot your videos, you can also use your phone to edit your first videos for free. I have an iPhone, so I use iMovie to edit my first videos for free. If you have an Android phone, there are tons of video editing apps on Google Play that you can also get for free. The first time that I edited a video on my iPhone, I was actually really surprised at how easy it was. These days, I edit videos in iMovie on my computer. I had an old MacBook at home, so I just used that. While there are definitely some channels that might require some more complex video editing software, right when you're getting started, you might be able to get away with just using something simple. Good editing absolutely helps, and it could be part of the personality of your channel, but more than that, it's the content and your commitment to your channel that's going to matter a whole lot more. Okay, let's talk sound. Especially if you're going to be shooting on your cell phone, I think that it's really worth spending a few bucks here to improve the quality of your videos. There is a huge difference in sound quality if you're using a small microphone like this one that I have versus talking into the air to your cell phone. First, your phone picks up all kinds of background noise, which isn't a good thing when you have a crying baby or a barking dog at home like I do. Also, there's definitely that white noise and echo that your phone kind of picks up in videos, which is totally fine when you're texting a video to your friend, not great on YouTube. Before you go out and buy an expensive boom mic or even a Yeti microphone that people use for podcasts, look into a little cheap microphone like this. You can pick one up on Amazon for around $20. It just plugs directly into my phone. It's optional for sure, but I think it makes a really big difference and it's worth every dollar. Along the same lines as the microphone, it's really nice to have a tripod of some kind. While you could absolutely build a crazy, unstable tower of Amazon boxes to shoot your videos, you can get a pretty decent tripod on Amazon for right around 20 bucks. Maybe even more importantly, a lot of the tripods on Amazon come with a little Bluetooth remote like this that you can use to start and stop recording on your phone. These remotes are a huge help when you're shooting videos on your own because they save you from having to walk back and forth to your phone every time you want to start shooting. You also don't have to take someone else's time when you want to shoot a video. You just sit down, pair your remote, hit the button, and you're good to go. Also, if you find that you need some additional lighting and a tripod, look for a tripod that has a ring light attached to it. These are the lights that those hot girls on Instagram are always using for their selfies. A lot of those tripods with ring lights on them also come with one of these Bluetooth remotes so they can help you shoot and they provide light as well. It's a great value. Because I think these tripods can save you a lot of time and hassle, I'll link to the ones that I have in the description and I think that they're probably worth picking up. 
completely optional. But if you think that you need a logo or a video intro for your videos, check out Fiverr with two R's. There are tons of awesome freelancers on there who will create a logo for you for something like 20 bucks, which is a lot cheaper than your local design agency or your friend that you should pay for their time. One day, if you make it big and you're making that YouTube money and you're super successful, go out and get that professional everything. But when you're just getting started, $20 is pretty solid for a logo that's probably a lot better than something that you could do yourself. Starting a YouTube channel doesn't have to be expensive. You can absolutely get started for under $50 or even for free. In the end, it's your commitment to your channel that's going to be the biggest thing that determines your success. And remember that YouTube is not a sprint, it's a marathon. You're going to learn a lot by just being scrappy, making videos, putting them out there, and seeing things that you can improve. If you've made it this far, please give this video a like or share it with that friend who's always talking about starting a YouTube channel. I wish you the best with getting your channel started and I look forward to seeing your stuff soon.